Firstborn male, about three, four weeks old, starts to vomit. And all the texts will tell you pyloric stenosis. But the text would say usually it's a firstborn male, three, four weeks old. Is that true? That's characteristically is true. You hope they don't read it for this disease because they, you have to treat the patient and not the textbook. Um, I typically uh, say uh, infants with pyloric stenosis are between two weeks and two months of two months of age, uh, boys or girls, um, and they vomit. Uh, it never has bile in the. It's always just the formula, uh, and the babies aren't really sick. They're upset because they're hungry. And it's. Not really a complicated surgery, is it? Well, the surgery is actually a, a very fun operation to do because it takes a, it's a very short operation, takes about 15 to 20 minutes, um, and it's life-saving. Uh, without the operation, the baby will become dehydrated and malnourished. Uh, the infants typically go home within one to two days after the surgery and uh, have no long-term uh, problems as a result these of the cases sort of bunch up together at one time in the year and then they don't happen again? Yeah, they, they do. it. We tend to see them a little bit more often in the spring. Um, Does anybody know why? No, it's not clear. So, first one male, three or four weeks old, it's probably that, but if it's a female in one week, it still could be that. So. I guess it could, yes. <laughs>